Mr. Verma, where did you hear about Mr. Rahman for the first time? Mani Ratna, my, I went to meet him actually. He was recording a song for Roja. So I didn't know who he was at that time, Rahman. And he made me hear a song in the studio. And I, I, the first thing which struck me was the tones and the clarity and the, I mean, uh, the crystal clear aspect of each and every instrument. You can hear it so clearly. I mean, no, no, normally critical reference is all jumbled, especially in those days, you know. And uh, so I asked Mani, who is this guy? Said, his name is Dilip at the time. Maybe he already changed his name, but Mani used to call him Dilip at that time. Roja, it, it was a success and everything, but I think since it was a dubbed film at that time, the mainstream industry never takes a dubbed film very seriously. They think it's just one, one of which came out of the blue, you know. And and also Rahman's music was so different compared to the kind of music which used to come at that time like Anu Malik and uh, whoever was uh, there, Nadim Shavan, the, in that kind of a uh, period. What was so unique about Mr. Rahman that you really wanted to work with him? I don't think it's so much about the melody. The same melody done by another music director, which I, which I will think will f uh, sound very ordinary. It's only just the intensity with which it comes in. See for, for, see, for example, if you look at the Bombay theme, I think the same notes, if we're done by another music director, the notes are the same, the composition is the same. But I think it is the way it is rendered. It makes a, a player render it, a singer, and what he feels about it more than anything else in his heart. I think that's what which comes through perfectly without uh, any loss in translation. For some of your films, you worked with Mr. Ilya Raja also and Mr. Rahman to work with him initially. What difference did you find between both of them? See, I would say, I, mean, I would come back to the same thing. You know, like, see, Ilya Raja probably is very fast, you know, and uh, in terms of there's an attitude in his music, which is very different for those times. You know, it is, used to break lots of this thing, you know. But in sheer presentation, in aesthetics, I mean, for want of a better word, I think Rahman's aesthetics are beyond compare to any music director. It's, it's like this, there is a content which could be the melody, but like uh, if we say the fantastic photography, art direction, costume, makeup, this is what aesthetics which would decorate the content in a script, you know. And because of the aesthetics, probably even a normal composition will sound so fantastic you know, I, I think that would be the primary difference, I would say. But I don't think Raja sir's melodies uh, are presented in the same way, the same quality of aesthetics. That's what I would like to say as a layman, not right, really uh, being trained and understanding music uh, per se. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, press the bell icon and stay entertained.